What's your luxury name? That is the theme of this tag video. I was tagged by the lovely Irene from Be Fabulous With Me Irene. If you don't know her channel already, I will link her tag video down below in my description box so you can go check her out. Also, the tag was originally created by the beautiful Mel from Mel in Melbourne, and I will also include her original tag video down below so you can check out both of those. So what's your luxury name? I thought of using my first name, which is Hannah, but I couldn't think of any items to include that start with the letter N. Like literally for the life of me, I couldn't figure out any items. I rummaged through my entire collection and I just couldn't do it. So I'm going to use my nickname and also part of my channel name, which is Catwalk. Catwalk has been my nickname since I was a teenager, so I figure it's appropriate for this fun little tag. Okay, so C. I can be very predictable and use one of my Chanel Classic flaps, but instead of, instead of being very um, just obvious in that way, I decided to go with something a little bit different. So for C, I'm going to share with you my Cartier watch. This is a watch that is very special to me as it is. it was a wedding gift from my parents 15 years ago. And this is a discontinued model. It is the only watch that I will ever need for the rest of my life. I will never replace it. It is so beautiful and classic. And it is the Demazel design or style. It's like the petite um, version of the original one. And a lot of you have seen this in my videos and have asked me and um, asked me about it and unfortunately it is discontinued and really hard to find it seems but that is going to be my first item Cartier watch for C and then for A I will share with you my Givenchy Antigona mini in the beautiful sugared goatskin in this caramel or camel color it has this nice top handle not many of my bags have top handles so this is kind of a nice change for me but it also has a long strap that is removable as you can see and then you can wear this on the shoulder or crossbody which is my preferred way because I am a crossbody girl so there you have it I love this chunky zipper and just the really unusual and unique structured shape of the bag I think it's very eye-catching in my last tag video where we talked about uh, handbag deal breakers. Uh, one of my deal breakers was bags that have the entire brand name spelled out and now I'm feeling like I have to eat my words because obviously it's Givenchy here but my point was the really obvious you know like the big block letters like Balenciaga or even on the Chanel trendy where it says Chanel really big up top. This I think is still small enough that it's discreet-ish, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let me put that down. And then for T, I'm going to share my beloved Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. I love this bag so much. It is such a cute, smushy little bag. I love the Madalese design. I love this soft pillowy effect. I love that it has still a structured bottom so no sagging. It's got a nice magnetic closure and then it has all of these compartments. It's actually really well designed and then of course a crossbody strap as well. I did plenty of videos on my Toy Lulu so if you are interested in this bag go check it out. And then for W catwalk right so w i'm going to share my chanel wallet on chain the walk thank goodness for this one because i don't think i would have been able to come up with another w item <laughs> so this is my chanel walk in the black caviar silver hardware old model with the snap closure and this long zipper pull they made some changes to that recently burgundy lining i do use a base insert to keep the form and shape and to kind of open it up and then it has the beautiful delicate interwoven chain strap so there you have it that is my w and then another a i couldn't come up with another a from a handbag so i'm going to share and this is going to be a little hard to see because we're doing a close-up video but this beautiful kind of like i guess it matches my nail color it's a it's a true red and this is a Armani exchange dress so that's my A and I have it's it's like a short little number and then the back is really fun because it has an open back see here 
So it's really cute, really playful. That would be my uh, next A item. And then for L, I have my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Of course, I had to share something from Louis. And since this is my only true Louis Vuitton bag, all the others are SLGs, I had to show, of course, the Pochette Matisse I think many of you are familiar with. It has the gold lock, and then it has these beautiful compartments to keep you organized, along with the matching monogram shoulder strap and this beautiful micro suede or micro fiber. So that one definitely had to be included. And then finally, for K, I was going to leave that kind of blank as an open spot for my future, hopefully, fingers crossed, future Hermes Kelly 28, if ever I get that or am offered that. But if I never get my hands on an Hermes bag, that's okay too, because I think you guys know if you are regulars here, or at least if you follow me on Instagram, same name as my channel, Hello Catwalk City. I have been talking a lot about purse piece and I do feel very much satisfied, very much at peace with the bags that I have. I feel like I have actually plenty and I did a vlog sale a couple of weeks ago, got rid of a bunch and I'm feeling really good. So I don't need or want any other bags at the moment, believe it or not. And so instead of reserving the K for a Kelly, I decided to share my Hermes, this one here, it's related to the Kelly. This one is my Kelly dog bracelet in the lizard skin. I love, 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 love this leather here. It's so beautiful. And then this, I don't know if it's showing up as rose gold, but it is rose gold. So it's not yellow gold. I think the way the sun is hitting it from the window, because the window is right over there. It may look yellow, but it's rose gold. And it has the Kelly sort of turn lock feature. And I'll just put it on really quickly. I have worn this in many of my videos in the past, so you may have seen it. And it's also quite special to me because I purchased this in Paris at the Hermes flagship store. So there you have it. This will be my K, my Kelly dog bracelet. So that covers it, all my letters in the name Catwalk. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed watching it. I am going to tag a few lovely ladies that I enjoy on YouTube here. I'm going to tag Colorful Noir, Caitlin Pulowski, uh, LV Lover CC, and Cassie Thorpe, because I just want to see, because she's just so different from me, and I feel like she's my alter ego. If you don't know Cassie, she's just got like a really dynamic personality and such a fun, bold collection, like completely opposite of my minimalist, understated, quiet collection, but I love, love watching her. So definitely Cassie Thorpe. And I think I'm also going to tag the Geek is Chic. I actually really enjoy her videos. She's very much a fashion kind of like industry expert. She works in the fashion field and she's got a lot of knowledge and really makes some valid points about like being mindful and conscientious and also being environmentally um, aware and about you know purchases and the life cycle. So I really do enjoy her channel. So I'm going to tag those five lovely ladies here and hopefully we can keep this fun tag going. Thanks so much to Irene again for tagging me. Thanks so much to Mel for creating this fun tag and please let me know in the comments below what is your luxury name i would love to know because a lot of times i interact with you guys um, through the comments or sometimes even through dm on instagram and not always do i have the opportunity to get your name so whether it's your first name or your nickname whatever you're most comfortable with i would love for you to share and kind of participate in this tag game and put your name and also the corresponding letters, like which item, which luxury items you would put. Because I think it would be really fun to have kind of like a chain of comments just to see what everyone has to share. Um, yeah, so please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I really would love for you to do so. I recently checked my YouTube analytics and I don't really go in there very often because I feel like this is just my happy place and I do this for fun and to de-stress. And going in there and looking at all the data and the analytics sometimes Times it's like, eh, it's a little overwhelming. But I was just curious and I looked in there and I looked at the audience stats and it looked like 
the vast majority of my viewers were not subscribed, which is crazy. So it, it appeared about 25 to 30% of you are subscribed. And then the remaining like bulk, three quarters of you are not subscribed, but are regularly watching my videos because the viewership is high, but the subscriber count is lower. So if you are interested in watching more videos like this, I would really encourage you to subscribe and maybe even consider hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And I would just really love to continue building this community. So thanks so much. Till next time. Bye-bye.